obviously, you know, toxicology reports now have come out and we, and we know basically what happened. Did, did you know she was going through those struggles? At, I mean, was she going through those struggles back in the bodyguard? Not days? that I knew of, no. Um, and uh, a couple times there's some people that, that really love Whitney and, and a couple times during the last seven, eight years asked me to, uh, would I write her a letter? And, you know, again, it, it's so odd. I mean, listen, I come exactly from where you come from. I know I have this level of celebrity and fame, international, national, whatever you want to refer to it. It's, but it's a pretty surreal thing to think sometimes that you're in the middle of another famous person's life and, I, and you think to yourself, how the hell did I get famous? And it's like, right. this, what, what is this, some weird club that we're in? Right, that, right. You know, and, and so when someone says, would you write someone a letter who you know is having trouble? And I, so I did, there was two occasions, but um, you know, I, I elected to let Whitney have her life, you know, after the bodyguard and, and she would always be close to me. She would always be somebody I appreciated. And um, I saw pretty much what everybody else saw. But when someone asked me to write a letter, I, I did. I don't know if that letter, those letters were ever written, read.